Season of giving is here and the Salvation Army says it's getting off to a late start. News 5's Tanisha Cordell explains the Red Kettle campaign is getting a major upgrade that could help offset the delay. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. How are you? Rose Davis has been ringing bells for the Salvation Army for six years. It's fun. I like it. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Christmas. It's the holiday spirit. You're more than welcome. And generosity outside of Zagara's market. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a great Thanksgiving. She says keeps her going. The people, they're so nice. This will be full by 2 o'clock. It's all cash and change. Hi. Uh, how are you? Merry Christmas. Thank Just this month, the Salvation Army took their Red Kettle campaign digital with an option to donate using a credit or debit card. This is the first time in 128 years that we've done anything really different. The process is simple. You tap your credit card here or scan the QR code with your phone to queue up Google or Apple Pay. Whatever amount you decide to donate is then sent to the Salvation Army and then distributed to a specific location dictated by your zip code. But this hasn't been used much. Have a great holiday. Shoppers we spoke to say they didn't know it was an option, but don't plan on using it. I'm used to giving cash. I mean, I'm old school. For real? I don't really use my credit card too much. Thank you. Wouldn't have it any other way. My best workers are there. The Salvation Army's Major Thomas Applin says the new tool just needs time to build momentum. I think as people trust uh, the opportunity to give and trust the technology, Right in there. It'll be a huge, huge help to us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Though the Red Kettle campaign got off to a late start. Good morning. Thank you. Major Applin hopes their new digital tool helps them reach their goal of raising $650,000 for Greater Cleveland. We're going to be positive. It's going to happen. Thank you. Good job. Hi. 